What's going on, everybody? All right, um, I got some videos coming up tonight. Um, feeling somewhat better, so take some time, make some videos. But first, I got to put this one out there because this is the most this is the most hilarious thing, um, and nobody's talking about it. So at the end of the day, you know how everybody wanted the you know BlackRock wants and all the other firms want their spot ETF on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's the future, Bitcoin. And you start wondering why all these nefarious motherfuckers all of a sudden on, on the Bitcoin train. I already put it on the community page, so you should see it there. Chinese Bitcoin mines a threat to national security. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Chinese cryptocurrency mining operations have been discovered in 12 U.S. states, raising national security concerns, including Arkansas, Ohio, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and most notably, um, there's one that's like um, in Wyoming, that's like the largest one. So uh, the Pentagon is overseeing surveillance of a Chinese Bitcoin mining facility in China and Wyoming. That's next to the big air base there. Now I got a question for you, like for real. Don't you think it's a little bit fucking suspicious that all of a sudden there's a push for Bitcoin? Everything is Bitcoin. Oh my God, Bitcoin. And I told you that if you take a look at the 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 functionality of Bitcoin, the more expensive it becomes, um, the slower it is, so it doesn't really have the usefulness. Um, but it's like, no, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and it, it costs too much money to move money on it. And all of a sudden, you find that Eggro has opened up silently all over America and mining like a motherfucker. And that's on top of the fact that the funds certain funds are buying up all the other mining operations. Now, if you know how crypto works, Bitcoin, the miners are the validators, the ones that make up the rules. So they could turn around and go, yeah, we're going to make more Bitcoin. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Hold on, I'm going to get to the part where it's interesting here. This is important for you to understand the, the crypto landscape. You know, Beijing's pursuit of the cryptocurrency regulation aligns with its economic policies, where the United States' primary concern is rooted in national security. And it gets into this piece right here. The CCP might also be utilizing these mining operations to manipulate the price dynamics of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. You can't do that with XRP. The coins are already mined. Seeking economic advantages. Acquiring a substantial portion of Bitcoin mining network could allow China to influence transactions, disrupt network stability, potentially undermining U.S. interests. Now, it goes into the older stuff like they help the Mexican cartels. Yeah, but that's not what this is about. This is about they're going to they're gonna do some nefarious voodoo shit with Bitcoin. So I'm telling people, if you're in Bitcoin, okay, you're going to make money. Because they're going to pump this thing up. But understand something. The cast of characters have a line to create, in my opinion, the biggest pump and dump that has ever been seen ever. That's what I'm telling people. Just between these mining operations and God knows what else is out there. And the fact that they're going to have the ETFs. People have to understand that, you know, China is... They're deep into this Bitcoin stuff. You know, I'm sure a lot of the firms that help them move money in and out of the stock market, they're in it with them as well. So, ah, we're going to chop you up, Luke. You found this now. We're going to hurt you bad. <laughs> All I can tell you is you can't even make this shit up. Ah, uh, fucking ridiculous. Let me see here. Yeah. I mean, not for nothing. Um... I can't even get into the rest of this stuff because YouTube will clip this, but people understand. Bitcoin will fail. <laughs> Ethereum will fail because the transaction fees are going to go ridiculous. And the last one standing is going to be XRP because it does smart contracts to Ethereum and it moves money faster and cheaper and more secure than Bitcoin. So you already know where we're going with this. You ever wonder why it's been attacked so much? Can't make it up. All right, let me get a few minutes. I'm going to chew on an apple or something like that. Then I'll be back. I'll make a couple of videos and I answer some emails. So get your emails ready.